Hello, this is Dr. Shane. We're wearing my, my Buckeye hat. We got our big game tomorrow uh, against MSU, the Spartans up in this camp. I am excited, as always, to be with you all. Today, we are going to wrap up our series on the power of acknowledgement. It's been a five-part series, a five-part series. If you missed any, make sure you go back and catch it. And really, throughout this series, I talk about the power of acknowledgement. I talk about how you can get everything you want if you just help your spouse get what they want. Most of us just want to be acknowledged. So today we are going to conclude by using the power of acknowledgement to get on the same page. And I'm going to help you understand why it is so big in connecting or reconnecting. So I had a couple, and I talked about this in yesterday's session that came in and I was like, what y'all been doing? Y'all, y'all been cheating on me? Y'all going to someplace else? And they laughed. They said, no, we watched this whole power of acknowledgement series and it really made a big difference for us. So I was happy for them. We smiled, we laughed, but they were able to hear each other. So there are three ways that this series, if you use it, will help you break a pattern in your relationship of, that causes you two to not get on the page. So <coughs> first things first. A lot of times couples come into my office and they say their spouse is being defensive. You are being defensive. You're being defensive. And I've come to learn Yes, they are, not because they're naturally defensive, because they're attacking them. So I talked in this series about the first thing you have to do is recognize something about their position that's true. If you start out by saying it's all BS, if you start out by saying everything in their position is false, hey, I like spending quality time. No, you don't. You're just selfish. Hey, uh, you keep getting me gifts and I don't want gifts no more. I just want you. I told you I was about quality time. No, you're just an ingrate. They are being attacked. They are being attacked. So if we can acknowledge, all right, you know what? I'll chill on the gifts a little. What would you like in place? Hey, let's do a stay question. And you ask three questions to get what they want. They will not be defensive. So the first way the power of acknowledgement helps you get on the same page is it eliminates or minimizes defensiveness. And at first it may be minimizing because we've been doing it so long. People don't know what to trust, but be consistent. Hang in there. Remember, I told you that there's one thing I could give you to fire me. This will be it. So I want you all that have done the series, stop and think about one thing about their position that you can honestly acknowledge. Okay. The second thing that happens so a lot of times couples are like this, right? They have two monologues. They don't have a dialogue. One person will say story A. The other person will say story B, which is not A. For example, you will say, hey, you know, when we were going to get that car last time, uh, I didn't have no input. The other person will, and that really bothered me because we're supposed to be partners. And the other person says, what are you talking about? There you go with that again. It's all BS. You had input. You were there. You just weren't saying anything. So then we asked three questions to get there. Why? Why did you feel like you didn't have input? Well, we had talked about the budget. The budget was $60,000. We're now at $65,000. I told you anything past 60, we're done. Okay. Well, why else do you feel that way? Well, we know that if I go against you in public, you're going to say I'm not respecting you and I'm disrespecting you and it's going to become an ugly scene. And I don't want that. I don't think our marriage could stand for it. Okay. Is there another reason you feel that way? Well, yeah. Uh, the other reason is this. We agreed that we'd come home and we would not make a decision at that dealership and you just... Ran the numbers, signed. Uh, I didn't have to sign. And next thing I know, I, I mean, actually, I went to the car. 
and you pulled up in that vehicle. And I was like, oh my God, I thought we were going home to do this. So they're not crazy. They're not crazy. So you want the conflict to go better, ask what's their why. So why did you want to do it this way? Well, babe, we're about to buy a house. And that $800, $850 that you're paying a month for that car may knock us out of range. Well, you know that there's a shortage of cars right now, and all cars are rated are costing more. No, I didn't know that. I don't read about cars. I just knew what our budget was. Look, babe, we absolutely had to get a car and it was to get this or to have to buy something again in two years. And given that we're paying more for cars, it made sense for me to get a car that we could keep for a longer time because if we bought a cheap car and tried to sell it in a year, it'd be worth less. Get each other's why. Acknowledge each other's position. What happens next is where the beauty starts. The magic shows up. We start to become present. We de-escalate each other. So now we're getting to the point that we have two dialogues and we've shifted from monologues and the story becomes A plus B, A to the B power, A divided by B. The story becomes, yeah, you did try to talk to me about the car. I did rush the decision, but I hope you can understand that the reason I rushed the decision because it just made more business sense. But I got to do better and going forward, I really got to stop and at least go to the car before I've signed the paperwork and talk to you. Yeah, I think that's what I'm saying to myself, right? Yeah, I think. Anyways, uh, so now we're present. We de-escalate because as I said, once we get above 110 beats a minute, we cannot take in new information. C, once we start having two dialogues, I mean, a, a true dialogue instead of two monologues, we're friends again. We're no longer frenemies. Frenemies, you ask, you say something, they say the opposite. You say A, they say not A, which is B. Friends, you say A, they say, okay, tell me what's up with A. You've said it 13 times now. Why is this so important to you? So we go from frenemies to friends. Anyways, this has been a great week. I've loved talking to you about the power of acknowledgement, and I look forward to seeing you in the community. It's a great day.